you shall reign forevermore. Give him glory, hallelujah. Give him praise. Glory, bless the name of Jesus. Bless his name, hallelujah. Glory to God. to God. Oh, just take a moment and just lift those hands and give glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, how wonderful it is as we stand here 29 years after the Lord uh, first called this congregation into being, stand here recognizing that he has done exactly what he says and is continuing to move in the midst of this people. And we cannot help but give him praise. We cannot help but give him glory. Wonderful Jesus. Hallelujah. And I also think that this would be a day that it would um, uh, certainly be feasible for us to take a moment. And some of you are sitting next to people that you think are visitors. And they think you're a visitor. And, and you're both members. <laughs> but sometimes we... It's a large family. We don't always get together at the same time. But whether friend, a visiting friend, or member, I just want you to take a few moments and get acquainted with the person in front of you, on each side of you, behind you, and just, uh, as I said, get their name, give them your name, no phone numbers and no addresses, and just tell them I love you with the love of the Lord. the Lord I can see in you glory of our King and I love you with the love of the Lord oh yeah oh I love you with the love of the Lord I love you with the love of the Lord oh yeah I can see in you glory of our King and I love you
the Lord. Hallelujah. I am so happy and blessed of God to see all of you that are present on this morning. All of our visiting friends, we certainly want to take this opportunity to welcome you. That was a question in my mind as I was sitting there. Um, it was in 1992 when um, our churches had continued to grow that we decided rather than build, we would open up the White Haven location and that was prior to this worship center and a number of people who were not with us previously joined us out in White Haven. I'm just wondering how many persons are here this morning that became a member of this church family through the uh, establishment of the White Haven location. Uh, if you're here, stand up. I just, I just want to see how many of you all are here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, all in the choir and everywhere. Well, God bless you. God bless you. Um, I'm also happy this morning, and I'm, I'm taking time to do this because I'm not going to do much in the way of a message. It's going to be quick. Then we're going to share our Lord's body and blood. But I'm also happy to see uh, one of our sons from uh, this church that has um, been appointed as pastor of... Um, is it Greater St. Mark? Greater St. Mark, Church of God in Christ. And that is uh, Pastor Ronald Roth. Amen. In fact, come on, you, you got to say a word. You got you to greet the saints. And Sister Roth, stand up, Sister Roth. Amen. We're so glad to see you. Amen. I don't know if I have any of my other pastors that... Uh, or members here, if you're present, I do want to acknowledge you. Sometimes I have persons that might sneak in and I don't even see them. But we're always glad to Pastor Roth that he's not going to miss a church anniversary. <laughs> Bless, you. Bless, you. Bless you. Happy church anniversary, Temple Deliverance. God bless each and every one of you. I could not miss my own church anniversary. Indeed, I consider it a pleasure to be here as I was reminiscing on last night uh, in pre preparation of coming here on today. I just thought about all the beautiful things that have happened to me in my life here at Temple Deliverance, saved under this ministry, filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost under this ministry, met my wife under this ministry, called to preach under this ministry, appointed to pastor a church under this ministry. Bishop, I summarized it. All the good things in my life have happened under this ministry. And I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Trump Deliverance, I love you so much. 29 years. I was here many, many years ago. I joined this church in 1975. And under the leadership of my pastor and bishop, went out to pastor a church. But whenever I can come home to my family, I always come home. I love you so much. I know you came to hear Bishop Patterson and so did I. But I just want to let you know that I'm glad to be here. I love you with the love of the Lord. Pray for me as I pray for you. And as I tell others, if you don't ever see me again, do me a favor. Meet me in glory. God bless you. the one and only Pastor Ronald Roth. He, and when he was um, with us just before going to pastor for a few years, he uh, was the person that trained our ministers coming in and uh, did a superb job, and we praise God for him. Uh, I don't think I even have to tell you all what my brief text is. It's the same one every year.
If you turn into it and others don't know what it is, tell them. Where is it? Genesis 26, verse 22. All right. And it simply says, and he removed from thence and digged another well. And for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, for now, the Lord hath made room for us. And we shall be fruitful in the land. God bless you, ushers. This particular verse of scripture was the verse that the Lord gave us opening day, March 2nd, 1975. And I do not hesitate to say that at that point, we did not know how prophetic that verse of scripture was. Talking about Isaac, the son of Abraham. Isaac himself was a blessed man because first of all, he had a blessed father. He had a father whom the Lord had not only promised to bless him, but he had promised to bless his seed. And I think sometimes uh, we forget in our haste to think that we are so unique yes. and we have uh, done so much in order for God to have placed us in the positions where we are. But I think that we would do well, especially those who had godly parents our godly grandparents to remember that sometimes we are enjoying blessings as a result of the fact that God promised our parents that he was not only going to bless them but bless their seed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the fact that we are living in a day and time when 